Can I get started? You guys ready to play? Yeah. Title of this presentation is Gamers, Hoarders, Your Money, and How to Make Sense of It All, with some 90s quotes sprinkled in, because I'm a 90s kid. I don't have a slideshow, but I got something better. The original slideshow. Who's this guy right here? That's for you, I buddy. I have no idea who that is. Holy so God. happy you're here with us. You weren't there yesterday, and I brought that for you, so it's got a little taste of Red Robin all over that picture. <laughs> so these, where, did, where did we do this? We did that at uh, First Fridays back at the, uh, what was it? Not CR England. What's the trucking company that we did? Oh, the right Yes. Yeah, I've known George a long time. She, you know, you guys are like family to me. You guys are, are, are my family. Carolyn, you got, I mean, Sherry, you guys are like network consistency. And I appreciate you guys for always making me feel welcome. And you're always outgoing. And it's just inspiring. So you guys are in good company. So I'm going to just pass these around, have fun with those. You know, because I just wanted to do something different. If you want one of those pictures, just keep it. Just, I'll, uh, anyway. Dr. Yeah, yeah. I'm Drew Kimball. I'm a spot on consultant. I sell point of sale, POS, not that kind, the other kind, <laughs> merchant services, all things credit card processing, gift cards. We facilitate anything except cash for your business. I've been in the game for 11 years. I've seen a lot of things. The only constant is change. Technology is always changing. Cryptocurrency, AI, who's heard of those things? They're not going away, they're here to stay. And that's okay. And Venmo, all those things are great. How does that play into my world? We're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, let's watch a movie. You guys like movies? I like movies. Yes. This is, this is uh, no, not Doctor Strange today. No. Oh, no. There's no, there's no um, audio on, the, on my computer. On here? Wait. Mm -mm. It's your product. Hello. Is it good? Okay. 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 Here is my credit. Is that loud enough? You try it again. No, that's the cord. <laughs> this is what happened yesterday. You know, it's the exact same spot. It might just be the, the internet that I have because I'm hot spotted. But you know, Brandon, Brandon talked about this and I could just post it for you guys. Easily the best three minutes of your life right here. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, we'll just dive right in. It had the mission statement in there too. I liked how Carolyn quoted her company's mission statement. Let me just jump into like 60,000 foot overview of what I do and how I do it. All right. So 20 years ago, I did the summer sales thing. I did three tours, just like a military guy. I went, I went all over this country and sold home security. I went into some of the biggest, most exciting markets in the country, Detroit, Michigan, Queens, Brooklyn, uh, Manhattan, um, all over Texas, Houston, Southwest Louisiana, some Baton Rouge. I know, yeah, where you're from. I sold in Dearborn and Flint. Those places are make Kearns pretty nice. I've sold in Seattle, Fresno, California, Los Angeles, California, Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, all over. So I uh, got introduced to the payment space because one thing um, happened when I was doing door to door sales. I was actually in, in Washington. Has anyone heard of a town called Puyallup? I was in Puyallup, Washington, knocking doors, getting rocked. My day sucked. And I sold this guy that was a police officer. And I said, I'm having the hardest time breaking into this community in terms of credibility. Can you refer me? If you, he loved the product, him and his family used it. And he said, yes. And so we went to some of his neighbors and he gave me a personal introduction and say no more. I had the contracts that day. You know, it was that easy. And I realized early in my career that um, one plus one is, is, is a lot lower than if you have people in your corner that want to multiply your efforts. And so referrals have just been a huge part of my business. Um, it wasn't until I got to New York, I actually sold a school teacher, um, sweet, sweet lady. And, um, I mailed her a thank you card through send out cards. And I just said, thank you for the business. We, me and her took a picture 
And I said, thank you for the business. And if you need anything and the tech company, you know, Vivint's not good or whatever, call me. And I get this call like four months later, it's her daughter. And she's like, she loves you. She has that card on her fridge. And I, and she's like, I want a system. Do you do Buffalo, New York? I'm like, of course I'm not there, but we can do it all over the phone. And like five or six referrals later, I'm still working with her based on just like keeping connections. So relationships are a huge part of my why. Um, another part of sales that I really like is it's an art. It's a craft. I hear a lot of derogatory comments about, oh, the salesman and, and this and that. Okay, I want you guys to hate the player, not the game. Not everyone studies sales. And I feel like I've studied sales for a long time. I've had a really good mentor who Sherry actually had the opportunity to meet. His name is Ben Ward, and now he owns a company called Forward Leadership. And he's down in Orange County, California. He's an amazing, amazing guy. Brian Tracy, he wrote The Psychology of Selling, one of my favorite books, Eat That Frog, another great book. He did the forward for his book. And just amazing guy, um, incredible leader, mentor for me. Um, so I've, you know, polished my craft, if you will. It's experts say it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. I have that and spades in terms of cold calling, contract negotiation, um, customer service, relationship management. And those things are super important to me. I don't want to haggle with people, like Brandon said, over price. I let my clients choose their rates and I am a good fit for that medium sized business market. I work with a lot of solopreneurs that are startups. That's great. But a lot of people will come to me early in their decision making and they're saying, what are my rates going to be? And I'm like, what is your volume? I don't know. I can't finish a math equation with all, all the numbers. So if you don't have volume, we could give you guys a flat rate and then we could see how volume goes and adjust it as need be. Um, but most of my businesses kind of fit this 555 sweet spot. Five locations or less, five years in business or longer, and five grand a month or more in credit card volume. And I can really make an impact on your business. Now, it, a lot of people go, well, how do you compare to Square? And how do you compare to this company and this company? Three reasons, price, product, and service. Our price, I'll go head to head with anyone on price. I'm not worried about that. 